Hello. I am Leslie French. Welcome to Better Balance for Life. Now, some of my regulars have been asking me to put this little beauty on YouTube so you can practice this one at home. If you haven't done this with me, this is Basically, it's a dementia buster. It is to keep control of our cognitive processing, memory, and all of those other things that can sometimes tend to decline as we get a little bit older, as we're not utilizing the brain as we used to when we were younger and we were working multitasking, problem solving, all of those sorts of things. What I suggest you do, I don't want you to get frustrated with yourself. So what I would like you to do is make sure you have fun, start with the legs and then add the arm movements in. So every time we change direction with the body, every time we change arm, leg direction, doing something different with the arms and legs, you'll be utilizing different parts of the brain. So a different part of the brain is gonna fire every time we change direction or do something slightly different. And that's what we want. Stimulating parts of the brain you're not utilizing, growing new neurons, making them stronger as well. So what you're doing here is you are repatterning your brain. You're repatterning your brain for movement and coordination, which is really important for balance and stability and how we walk, super important. So you might think, why am I doing this? Well, it's all the other little bits and pieces this is going to do for your brain, which is going to help keep you stable and upright. Yeah, all of this helps do that. So enjoy, don't get frustrated. Nice deep breaths, have a giggle. Let us commence. Remember legs first, add in the arms. So let's get stuck into pattern one. So here we go, nice and relaxed. So we've got a front and side with the leg, front and side with the leg, front and side with the leg. This is gonna challenge balance as well. So be a little cautious. Now let's add in single arm movement. So single arm and a double with the leg. Single arm and a double with the leg. Now, if, when, when we get the pattern in the brain, we can make this just a little harder by adding in a clap. So one, two and a clap. One, two and a clap. One, two and a clap, one, two and a clap, one, two. Rhythm, timing, coordination, memory. Leave out the clap, leave out the clap if you're not ready. Add it in when you are. Just another way to stimulate the brain. Five. Four, three, two, last one. Take a break, get ready for a change. Pattern two, here we go. Single leg, single leg, double arm. So bicep curl, side arm, bicep curl, side arm bicep curl, side arm, bicep curl, side arm. Now, once you got that going, add in a clap if you like. Add in clap if you can, probably more to the point. I'm sure you'd all like to, but are you ready? Are you ready to add it on? Five. Four, three, two, last one. March it out, getting ready for pattern three. Pattern three, here we go. Rush, side leg and rear. Side leg and rear. This one, I feel for me, is the most difficult in my brain but we're all different. So let's add in single arm, side, side arm. We
with this one, you might feel like your brain would like your arm not to go to the side, maybe to the front. So when the leg goes to the back, do you get a feeling the arm doesn't quite want to do what you're getting it to do? That's good. That's what we want. Forcing the brain, forcing the brain to grow those new neurons. Righty-ho, add in a clap only if you're ready. Only if you're ready. Leave it out if you're not. Feel that, feel the struggle and the amount of work that's having to be done by that brain to keep this together. Five, four, three, two, last one. Take a break, match it out. Pattern four. Pattern four. Here we go. Side tap single. So single with the leg, double with the arm. So as we did before, so bicep curl, side arm. Bicep curl, side arm. Bicep curl, side arm. I find this e the easiest one in the brain because everything is going. We've got the front arm, which causes a little bit of discombobulation. But apart from that, we're going in that same direction. So it should feel a little bit more comfortable in the body. Add in a clap if you can. Focus. Doing awesome. Whether you're getting it right or wrong, you're doing awesome because guess what? You're doing something to make a difference. Here we go, five. Four, three, two, last one, take a break, march it out. So I do have some other little beauties like this so on my YouTube channel, have a look for them. They're quite clear in what they do and how they help. Do as many of these as you can. Use them for fun, do them with your grandkids, your kids. They love this sort of thing. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you press that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.